So as usual, I will start by uh, recording a few facts from the pr previous lectures. Um, so. So um, let's recall the following uh, categories, moves, full of k. So this is the object uh, R uh, diff smooth uh, foliation. And on, on this category, so we, we have many uh, natural topologies, and there will be today uh, considering uh, mainly two of them. So the, the first one is called the, the, the C et al topology. And then the, there is a finer one, which is the C foliated topology. So this is uh, approximated by, or, or denoted by C et al and then CFT. And so, um, so th th these topologies somehow uh, mm, were, were used uh, uh, in a not very explicit way before. Uh, so I uh, tried to m somehow m make the, the role a bit more transparent today. So, um, so recall the, the following fact. So, so maybe so what is this? fact one. Uh, is that uh, so? We have the uh, the Durham spectrum uh, that, that na naturally lives uh, on on this category. So this guy turns out to be equivalent. So that, that is, uh, uh, um, so it's equivalent to something which is uh, like this. So it's a P one little localization with respect to, this this to the first topology uh, of the, the infinite suspension spectrum on the Durham complex, not, not, the, spec not the Durham spectrum. Um, and, and this is, uh, in fact, it's, this is a very strong isomorphism. This is uh, a level-wise uh, quasi-isomorphism. So this is the best that you can, one, one can hope for, for an equivalence. Um, and I, I could also write this as follows. This is also uh, localization. Again, the same kind of localization uh, of, the of the infinite suspension spectrum on, uh, on some uh, s much smaller uh, sheaf, which is called O delta, which is in fact the H0 of the Durham complex. Uh, but here I have to make a, a an FT fiber replacement. So I have to to, to make this object level-wise uh, fibrant for for this topology, and then apply this thing. So so these isom so again this is this, it's also a level-wise quasi isomorphism, and uh, so this this was behind uh, th this model P two that I introduced. Um, uh, model P2 for, uh, for omega underline. So m more precisely, uh, P2 is, so more precisely, P2 is uh, the, co the out or the, the computation is obtained by computing Uh, the restriction of uh, this guy here to uh, smooth varieties. Um, and uh, in fact, f yeah, f from this one can also, uh, as I explained before, one can get. Uh, I can map the the Chech complex uh, on omega uh, to something uh, which is the, the following. Um, OK, 
Okay, and then uh, again, compu computing the restriction of this guy uh, to smooth variety. Yeah, this uh, thing that I was calling uh, p p two p two dot, and um, and this somehow. Uh, I, I tried to use to, uh, w w w with some inputs from Hodge theory, uh, to say something about the, the limit uh, of this cosim shell guy. And then there was the second uh, model, which was, which relied on a, uh, on a s similar fact, but uh, which, which was the following. So uh, that is uh, also a, a, an equivalence from omega underlined to something uh, very similar but sl slightly different and uh, it is the following so uh, it is again a p1 delta localization for the same topology uh, of infinite suspension of O delta uh, except that the only difference here is that uh, I, uh, I I take a vibrant uh, re replacement for the p delta topology uh, at the end so So we also have such an equivalence, um, but this is somehow a much weaker uh, kind of equivalence. This is really uh, a stable A1 Cetal local equivalence. Okay. Um, so n n n nevertheless, one can uh, again also co uh, c uh, compute so computation of this guy uh, restricted to smooth varieties yield the, the third model P3 uh, of omega. And then this third model was also uh, extended to a cosimplicial object, P3 dot. Um, which I also tried to use uh, uh, using this input from Hodge theory to say something about the homotopy limit of this guy. Uh, and so I, I said that, that here one can go a bit further, uh, except that because of this problem, because of this is only a stable, not, not, uh, not as, as, as a strong uh, equivalence as before, because of this, uh, of this point here, uh, one get to a problem uh, and more precisely, one needs to, to, to somehow st stabilize uh, the spectrum before applying the homotopy limit. Okay, so, uh, so one can go, can go a, a bit further. With P3 dot. Uh, but, but but get, um, or but but, fa but has to face, face uh, the fact that this that we don't know that uh, these guys are omega spectra. And therefore, we a priori, we need to uh, stabilize them. And this creates some serious difficulties. OK, so at, at this point, the, 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 there are two possibilities. So either one can, uh, one is clever enough to, uh, to, to somehow extend this uh, Hodge theoretic argument uh, uh, so that it, it also work uh, after stabilization. Or uh, the other possibility is to, uh, uh, show that there is no need to stabilize these guys, that these guys are essentially omega spectra. And somehow, th uh, this somehow leads to the following uh, maybe conjecture that I, I will s state at the beginning a bit uh, in a vague form and then try to, to make it precise, uh, which is, which says the, f the following, that uh, a version of these T spectra and uh, are actually are close to um, are close to to being omega spectra. So I, I, I try to make this a bit more precise later. Um, yeah, so if if you have something 
of this kind, then uh, yeah, th then somehow this will enable us to to finish the argument, uh, as I explained in, in, in the last in the last lecture. Okay, so this is what I would like to discuss today. Uh, see if there is uh, if this is a really a, a reasonable thing to to hope for. Um, so I will uh, first try to make this uh, conjecture a bit more precise. So for, I will uh, explain what I mean by by a version of this. I will, I will also explain what I mean by close to being an omega spectrum. And then uh, I, I'll actually then give uh, a, a, a more, um, a stronger statement, which uh, might look uh, more approachable or at least more reasonable, uh, which would imply this conjecture. Then I explain that this, this statement is actually uh, a bit too optimistic. Uh, the, 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 it cannot be true, as stated. And then, uh, then maybe try to uh, propose uh, a statement which is uh, which uh, which is weaker and which maybe still be sufficient to imply such such a statement here. All right. So th 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 there will be a lot of speculation today, and n n n nothing I will state as a theorem will, uh, will be actually really proved. Um, so all, all this. All these con considerations are somehow somewhat a bit new. I, I only started to think in this direction uh, only a few weeks ago. So, and I, I have to say that I didn't really get very far. And uh, and so even if I state a theorem today, uh, this is not really uh, to be considered as a theorem, but maybe rather as something that I think I have to, that I know how to prove. Um, okay. So this is somehow the the plan for today. Uh, so I'll start maybe by uh, saying uh, really what this is the simplest thing that I can do is to make this a bit more precise, what I mean by uh, close to be an omega spectra. So I start maybe with this, I make a definition. So uh, let's so let, let E uh, the spectrum on smooth varieties. So this this can be uh, actually also uh, easily extended to any mm, category, for example, to uh, to smooth foliation. I would just maybe say it in this case. So um, okay, so uh, we say that that E is a weak. Uh, omega spectrum. Um, is the following goal. So if if uh, after uh, a level wise a one et al fibrant replacement. So the spectrum satisfies the following condition. It satisfies So I maybe state the condition on the other blackboard. All right, so it's, uh, it's uh, we want to define something like something which is uh, a variant of, of an omega spectrum, and it's natural somehow to, uh, of course, n n not change the level up to up to homotopy. Uh, so this is why I I allow myself to do a level-wise uh, a one et al five replacement, and then the condition will be about uh, what happened after doing this. So we want the following condition to be to be satisfied. So uh, for for x. Uh, smooth variety for p an integer um, there should exist an integer n zero which uh, depends on uh, the choice of x and the level and such that um, the map uh, r gamma from x times, so this is uh, gm uh, pointed by 1, which 
uh, n. Uh, the spectrum E um, uh, P plus N. Right, so there is a map from this to, to the same thing, but with, but with N plus 1. Okay, so we want this to be a quasi isomorphism. And this is for n bigger than n zero. Okay, so uh, the idea is that so th th these are the map that that that, uh, that that you see when you when you uh, apply the stabilization pro procedure uh, to a spectrum. So th remember, there is this lambda infinity of a spectrum. This is this will be the the, the omega uh, spectrum associated to E. Uh, and if you evaluate this co-limit, so this is a co-limit. Lambda n. If you evaluate, if you evaluate this co-limit at level p uh, at x, you end up with these maps here. And so what I'm just saying is that, that this co-limit evaluated at x at level p somehow stabilizes. It does not really is not really a true co-limit. It's uh, this becomes uh, quasi isomorphism for n big enough. Okay, I hope I hope this is clear, the meaning of this uh, definition. So this is a, this is a if you want a slightly Weaker version than the, 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 the notion of an omega spectrum, and it's, uh, it obviously uh, somehow mm, suffices to solve the problem here uh, of, of commuting um, a homotopy limit with the stabilization functor because right. So it's, uh, uh, yeah, it's a reasonable uh, definition in this context. Okay, so. All right, so what, what I will, so the conjecture that I, will, I want to, pres to propose today is that, again, a version of this guy will be actually uh, a weak uh, omega spectrum. Okay, so R weak omega spectrum. Okay, so this is what I want to do today. Um, so I start with. Uh, so yeah. So the, the next thing I want to do now is to explain this version. So I, I don't think that the, that these guys are uh, will be weak omega spectra, is, but I, will, I want to pr propose a version of this guy, um, which I, I hope it, it will it will have this property. Um, okay. So um, I want to introduce a new uh, T spectrum. So this is again. It will be um, it will be a spectrum which will again give a model for omega. Uh, I, I will not do the computation, so I will not tell you what is p, what 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 is the what is the the restriction of this new model to smooth varieties and how it looks like. Uh, I will just claim that you can do the same thing as as we did before with with p three with this new model. So I will okay. So. Um, I want to start with with a with a, with a general construction. A very simple general construction. So we we fix uh, um, a foliation. So maybe let's, let's call it S C. So it is smooth foliation. Uh, so to this we have uh, we, we have uh, the category of smooth foliation over this guy. So it's, I denote like this. So this is smooth or diff smooth maybe. Um, let me see foliations. Okay, so the object are just morphism of foliation which are smooth in the usual sense. Uh, inside there is a smaller category, which is the category of uh, diff etal ones. So this is, I denote this like, that, like this. So this is the diff etal foliation.
So, uh, yeah, so this, this inclusion uh, d defines a morphism of site. So this is the inclusion of uh, diff Italian into this smooth uh, defines morphism. That goes in the, as usual in the, in the opposite direction. Okay, so of course we, we think about this as a, as a small uh, site, and this is a big site. Um, so I can put here any, any topology. So it, so it could be for the T etal or the T F T. Both uh, work equally. Uh, and and this morphism of site I denote by yota uh, se. Okay, and so uh, if if I have a K a complex of pre-sheaves on F T S, I can form so I can consider its uh, uh, inverse image along this the thing and get a complex of pre-sheaves. On smooth foliation, and in fact, this guy has has a very uh, easy description. So I, I, maybe I, I give it just uh, in case you might be interested. So, uh, so if I have uh, x over uh, f, an object of smooth foliation over over s, um, let's assume for simplicity that that x and s are affine. Simplifying that assumption, uh, then there is uh, associated to this guy there is uh, an algebra a uh, x over f, which is actually an algebra in algebra in, in the category of, of module with integrable connections over the foliation s mod e, um, and it, it can be defined as follows. So. Uh, at least I, I tell you what is the global section of this of this thing. Uh, this is simply given by the uh, the algebra of constant uh, over uh, x times f fiber product with a discrete foliation on on s. Okay, so. Uh, and uh, in fact so this uh, so therefore the, so because this has a structure of a module with integral connection uh, then it's the the spectrum of this guy is actually naturally an object in ft uh, yes, so it's naturally a diff etal uh, foliation over se uh, and and then with with this so the, the, then the claim is that so claim is that uh, if I want to evaluate uh, my uh, I S E upper star of K at X F, this is given uh, by K at spec in X F. And this is actually not completely true, so this is really up to, or, or at least locally, locally for, let's say, the Ital topology. Okay, so it's, it's a good enough approximation for us. Okay, so, right, so I, I want to apply this construction in the following situation. So, uh, so recall that we have this, uh, mm, so in, in the previous lecture, I was, con I was considering pairs of uh, like this, uh, where uh, R is itself uh, a tuple of integers up to up to n for some some n. Right, so so these are all positive integers. Uh, so I, I, if I fix uh, such a pair, uh, then th there is associated uh, foliation x bar R underline times E bar n, right? So it's, uh, um, it's, uh, it's I, I don't need to recall the definition. I mean, 
uh, of this, but so it's a really a very simple uh, kind of foliation. But um, right, so we, so we, I, I want to apply this uh, this construction uh, with S E uh, being this guy. So this, this will be my S E, and then I want to uh, then take for uh, for K. I want to take the, the Durham uh, complex over uh, diff et al foliation over this guy. So that's denoted also by omega, or maybe uh, church church n of omega. Okay, so I, I want to I want to apply this. So uh, okay, so then uh, let let me introduce some notation. So we denote by by c. R M, uh, maybe with a dot, put a dot into parentheses. Uh, this is, by definition, I upper, yota upper star uh, x bar uh, R times E bar M delta. Maybe, I f yeah, I forgot the delta here. I want this to be discrete. Um, of the, uh, the church. The RAM complex. Okay, so I simply take the, the RAM complex, but on, on the small foliated side, not on the, the big one, and I, and I, I extend it uh, somehow by this functor instead of, ju of ju just taking the natural extension of the RAM complex. Uh, right, so this is one thing then. Uh, I now define the spectrum, so I define the T spectrum on smooth foliation by the following formula. So I, I, I'll denote by uh, pi prime Rn, the projection to the point. Okay, so uh, I define the spectrum so I call B, B maybe B bold. This is, um, and it's actually a cosimplicial object, so it's a dot here, um, Rm. So this will be the, the push forward al along this uh, map of uh, simply the uh, infinite suspension spectrum. On these complexes. And this is made five for the Tal topology. Okay, so uh, for the moment, this, this might seem a bit uh, arbitrary. I, I try to motivate this, this construction in a moment. Uh, but yeah, w once we have this, then the next step is to. Uh, as we did, as we see as we have seen before, uh, passing to to, to the homotopy collimate um, in the indices R and and M. Next thing we define again, it's a cosimplicial spectrum, but without indices, this is a homotopy collimate Rn of these guys. Okay. Maybe just before continuing, let me just say one one thing. So, uh, so what, what I what I did here is is essentially a variation of, of something I, I did before. Uh, you see, if um, yeah, um, so maybe a remark. So, so if I if I replace uh, the, the complexes, let, let me just do it in, in degree zero. Right, so for um, right, so if, if if this is replaced by By the uh, the pre-sheaf or delta, or 
by the Durham complex, then we, we get simply, and we get respectively um, two things that we have seen before, namely the P1 delta localization, again for the CFT topology, PCFT total topology of sigma t infinity of O delta, respectively the same thing but of the Durham complex. Okay, so I, and this I just said today, or, or I just reminded you about this today, these um, are things that we have cons been considering before and, and the, somehow they, they are responsible of the, of the models uh, P2 uh, or, or P3. So what I, what I did here, I, I somehow I introduced uh, a family of complexes, which we will see in a moment, somehow sit uh, in between O delta and omega. Um, and I use them somehow in, in, in the same manner as I've been using uh, O delta and omega before to get um, a model for the drum spectrum. Okay, so I hope this uh, at least gives some motivation for, the, for this construction. So le le let me say a bit more about this, uh, this spectrum. Maybe also just also one remark. So, uh, so the, uh, so this, this, this spectrum, uh, again, B0 maybe, uh, mm, so will be the subject Uh, of, of, the, of the conjecture I want to, to address today. Yeah, so I, again, the reason why I, I have introduced this, uh, this object, maybe even maybe the, the dot here, is simply because uh, the conjecture I want to address today is, uh, seems to be f uh, false for uh, for that, that, that one here. So I had to somehow do something slightly more complicated. Uh, and, and this is uh, the thing that I came up with. Um, all right, so this, yeah. So but b before getting to the conjecture, uh, let, me, uh, uh, let me derive some easy properties of, th of this uh, spectrum. Um, So, yeah, so with, with a small lemma, so this is an easy, easy fact. So, uh, so we have a natural uh, morphism from uh, O delta to uh, uh, to the complex C R N, maybe the zero part of it. So without without the Chech uh, construction, uh, which is CFT local equivalence. Um, yes, right. Um, so this is actually uh, 
very simple that I, I just want to do it so that somehow we, we get a bit get used a bit to, to, to this construction. Um, so remember, so the, the way I uh, I constructed this guy was uh, um, was to start with uh, the Durand complex, but only uh, on uh, on a small on the small side uh, of the this particular foliation x bar r times okay um, and of course here here we have also uh, a natural map from o delta to to omega this is just the h h, h zero of this complex so o, o, all this is, is living on on this small side but this is in fact as uh, we know this is uh, a local or sorry, CFT local equivalence. As I, as I said before, uh, it's, this is just a version of the Poincaré lemma. Which is actually even uh, true on, on, on the big side, so, but, but I just want to use it now on, on, the, on the small side. And now uh, the next thing is to, to, is to uh, remark that uh, th th this functor i upper star uh, times t bar and delta uh, preserve uh, CFT local equivalences. And this is a totally general fact. Uh, whenever I have a morphism of site, one has such such a property. Okay, so this is uh, this is the proof. Um, yeah. So in particular, uh, one get in, in, in fact a chain of uh, weak equivalences, local weak equivalences. Uh, maybe I put I can put another Chech complex. This is again the wrong complex. Okay, so this is a sequence of uh, CFT local equivalences on uh, the big foliated site of uh, X bar. Okay, so uh, as, as I said before, somehow th 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 these two things I, I, I used before, uh, and now I'm somehow uh, looking at something in, in between. Okay, so maybe I should also say, uh, but not, but not C et al. local equivalences. Okay, so this is somehow the, the thing that. Um, this is why somehow I, I will use this thing, thing in the middle because it will give me something a bit different uh, locally for the Psietal topology. Okay, and, and so again, let, let me uh, somehow go back again to this remark. So um, by, by passing to the co-limit uh, uh, of R and M, uh, so what, what, we, what we get is the following sequence. Uh, of spectra on smooth foliation. Um, and then there is this B. Uh, let me put, let me do it on the cosentitially. And then this is, uh, as I explained before, this is uh, just the model for uh, for the spectrum omega. So it's not the case that this is a model for omega. 
uh, this is a model for omega after you uh, you further uh, um, take a level-wise CFT fibrant replacement. Okay. All right, so we have we have uh, we have this thing. So in particular, there is a map uh, from this guy to to omega. Um, okay, so uh, and let let me just say it again. So. Uh, corollary of, the, of this consideration is that the morphism of the spectra from B dot uh, CFT fiber replacement level wise uh, to uh, to the church and here there's a church also. So this guy is uh, again is a stable A one C et al uh, local equivalence. Okay, so I I have been using the same fact, but with B replaced with this guy before, and now I'm just saying that it's also true for this guy, and therefore. We can do as uh, the thing that I, I explained in the previous lecture, but, uh, but with, with B uh, instead of this guy, and get uh, uh, compute the restriction to smooth varieties, get get a new model, and then it turns out that the, this new model is, is as good as the model P3 that I that I discussed last time. Okay, so uh, so uh, so this uh, concentration guy. Uh, give rise to let, let, let me call it PP4 dot, uh, which is which is as good as P3. Okay, so we can apply really the same method for uh, to this. Okay, so I and 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 so therefore I somehow I I, I now try to understand if this guy is uh, is an omega spectrum. So that I can somehow com complete the proof. Okay, so let me. So I can, I can maybe now uh, state the conjecture. So here's the conjecture that I want to discuss today in precise form. So conjecture. Okay, so the restriction of. Uh, be at each uh, cosimplicial degree, the, the restriction of this to smooth varieties is a weak spectrum. For every, uh, for every. Okay. So this is what I would like to. Discuss uh, and this, as I said, will be sufficient to somehow uh, complete the proof. So I, I would like to discuss. Uh, I would like somehow to introduce uh, another conjecture and uh, explain why this this other conjecture. Uh, Relate somehow to something more classical, uh, and also then explain why this other conjecture is actually uh, too optimistic. So, So here's maybe uh, a remark. So, so how how one can 
how one can prove such a conjecture. So the, the, the one that I just stated there. Um, so the, the, the first thing one could uh, try to do is uh, try to, uh, to guess a formula for, for the spectrum Bn. So uh, we, could, we could try first to guess a formula for, uh, for Bn, uh, the spectrum, uh, even just level-wise. So here, here we will be working, so working mm, C eta locally. Okay, I mean the, the conjecture already give us a guess uh, um, locally for the topology of CFT, but but this is maybe hard. So let let's uh, try to first, uh, or I mean this is what we want to prove. So but, but to prove this, we try maybe we can uh, try first to guess. If you have a formula for Bn uh, somehow locally for the tal topology, and uh, so th so the next conjecture is, is somehow uh, a guess uh, or a plausible guess of what what these spectra are, and as I said as I said it, it w this this guess will turn out to be too optimistic, but I, I want still somehow to uh, to give it for you and try to discuss this a bit more and and see. Uh, um, so ho hopefully somehow it, 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 it makes this conjecture a bit uh, mm, kind of uh, maybe more reasonable or more natural. Okay, so to, to, and, and to explain the guess, I, I introduced uh, one notation. Um, so from now on, When I write C uh, church omega, I really mean uh, the fiber replacement of this guy. So uh, this means, uh, in fact, the stably uh, A1 et al. fiber replacement of uh, the church construction on omega cofiber. Okay, so I hope this will not create any misunderstanding. This is a notation, and 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 therefore, and and uh, and also, I want to introduce a truncation of this. So uh, when I write this, this is uh, the usual truncation of this of this of the T spectrum. Okay, so. Uh, Truncated version. Oh, uh, I should put here psi eta. So this is uh, this is on the level of foliation. I'm working now. Okay, so these are notations, and uh, with this I can state this uh, this guess. Or, or let's see, maybe I, I don't want to write it as, as, a, as a conjecture, but because I know that it's wrong, so uh, maybe I just. Should. Call it a guess instead of, con of conjecture. Um, so that that is a level-wise um, a one c et al. vocal equivalence uh, between uh, the spectrum B n. Okay, so it's a constant degree n, uh, and uh, this truncation of uh, okay. So uh, I'm saying that th th so this, this, this spectrum that I have introduced, uh, which looks a bit weird, is actually computing something much more natural and simple. Uh, simply the, the truncation of this uh, spectrum. So for example, in degree zero, this is B0 is just 
the truncation of the Durand complex that we have been, that I also introduced before, um, which is also somehow the subject of, 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 uh, of the main uh, conjecture that I'm trying to, to prove. So this is, this is a first guess. So I, I, I try to explain why this guess is not so, uh, I mean, w w why, why would one would guess something like this? Uh, and I even g give you some evidence and, and some partial result. Uh, so that, that this actually is, is uh, at least expected uh, in s um, or maybe a weaker or a version of this is actually expected. Um, yeah. So I try to explain this. But maybe maybe first let me uh, let me state the following lemma just to be um, the first proposition. Uh, which is actually not not so obvious, and in fact, it it, it will lead to some to introduce some interesting object that I will need later. So it, let me maybe do this uh, with some care. So uh, so the natural map to omega is a level-wise. Sorry to change omega. It's a level-wise uh, an n here. Okay, is is a level-wise uh, CFT local equivalence. Okay, so I want, I want to, to 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 give some details about the proof of this. So uh, I, I, I start with n equals 0 first. This is the simplest case, and this is actually uh, yeah, completely clear. Uh, so in, in case n0, what, you are, what, what I'm claiming here is that if I, if I take the Durham complex, I truncate, uh, it goes to, to the Durham complex, and this is level-wise CFT local equivalence. So to, to prove such a thing, we, we look what what are the level of this of this morphism? But so in, in level level p, this is up to a shift. Simply the truncation at minus p of the Durand complex, I'm not the spectrum now, to the Durand complex. Okay, but so since P is uh, is bigger than zero. This is uh, this is actually uh, it contains uh, O delta, right? So O delta is still the H zero of this complex. Um, yeah, and then uh, then then we are done because we know that these two guys are indeed uh, CFT local equivalences by the Poincaré lemma. Okay, so the, the, the case N0 is really uh, some, somehow uh, clear. But I want to discuss somehow the, the, the case of uh, larger degrees, which is more interesting. So, uh, in higher degree, we have to use uh, a bit more. So, so now for for n non-zero. So I, I, I will use a fact as a, as a black box, uh, which is the following. So, uh, so in fact, we we have some inform information about this this Durand complex. Uh, we know that it is. Uh, it's isomorphic to uh, uh, to the Durand complex itself, and tensored with 
uh, over O delta with some uh, sheaf H. Um, maybe put an N here, Hn, uh, where, where Hn uh, is a minus one connected um, uh, sheaf, maybe, or complexes of sheaves. Receives uh, of OX modules, O delta modules. Okay, so th th this fact, in fact, will imply uh, the result by using the same uh, same reasoning. Uh, right. So if we know this, then uh, so fact implies result. Uh, again, by by the Poincaré lemma. So the, the point here is that uh, H uh, also go to the truncation of H tensors tensor omega um, because of because the fact that because H is minus one connected okay, for, for 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 P for P uh, positive. So this is because H is minus one connected, and therefore, uh, uh, so, so this is this is this is what we have in level in level P, uh, and these guys are uh, equivalences uh, because of the Poincaré lemma. Okay, so and, and let me maybe just say one word about about this fact, so wh where it comes from. So I, I will not really say much about it, but. Just tell you that, that, that this, uh, for example, if n equal uh, to 1, so this h1 is something which, uh, which, is, which has been considered before. Um, or more precisely, so if I evaluate uh, h1 at uh, some, mm, let's say, uh, yeah, um, uh, if I take, um, Okay, let me just do it simply. I evaluated at the base field. This is actually uh, uh, the, the Hopf algebra or the, the motivic Hopf algebra. Of the, of the field um, K uh, for, for the Duram fiber functor. Uh, if, if, if I take an extension and, and think about it as, as, a, as a discrete uh, foliation, so if I look at k, but, but k, uh, so k is an extension of the base field with the discrete foliation. So I think about, about the element of k as, as constant. Then this is also the same thing. Um, this is actually, yeah, this is a motivic of, uh, in fact, uh, algebroid maybe. Uh, um, again, of, of k over k, and so so this is uh, this is actually naturally uh, a k times k algebra. Okay, so the, the, the if you know about uh, Hopf algebra, it's so uh, it's like like a groupoid, and and, and the, the the space of of object is actually the spectrum of big k. So this is why. Uh, so this is like a groupoid. Uh, where the object is spec k, so it lives naturally on k times tensor k. Okay, so and, and the, the fact that this, that this is minus one connected is somehow, of course, related that we know that the motivic of algebras are minus one connected. All right. So this is said. It's I can now prove the following lemma. So so let's guess 
imply the conjecture that I have. Uh, that, is, that is still there. Uh, yeah, simply because, so if you, um, if you know that this is a level-wise A1 C et al equivalence, uh, then we deduce that uh, if I take this, make it vibrant, then again, th this is also a level-wise Otherwise, uh, maybe yeah, quasi isomorphism uh, to the to this guy here again made CFT fiber. But uh, because of the proposition that I uh, just uh, erased, uh, this is just in fact omega. Right, because uh, this is already a CFT fibrant, and we know that the map from here to here is a CFT local equivalence, so we get this. Uh, and so we get that this is the same as this, but this is, of course, this guy is an omega spectrum. And so it, 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 it proves the conjecture. Uh, so th 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 this lo looks like it, it's giving much more because we are, it's somehow telling us what what is what is this uh, guy, but in fact we know that if if we know if if this if this gadget here is an omega spectrum, then we know what it is. It is uh, it is this. And here, of course, I I forgot to put the chetch everywhere. Okay, so this is an omega spectrum. Uh, by, by, my, by convention, uh, by the notation that I just introduced. Okay, so maybe a remark. Uh, so we, we know that, we know what is, what is uh, uh, stable A1. Placement of um, it's it is this so so it's, this is not really uh, giving more so so in fact uh, uh, yeah so the guess is not giving. Than, than expected, or than, than, than given by the conjecture. Except that uh, really the conjecture is uh, saying that the spectrum is not an omega spectrum, but, but only a weak one. Um, right? so, so this lemma is actually saying that this is uh, an omega spectrum in the strong sense. And somehow this is related to the fact that, that the guess is not really true. As I, as, I, as, I, as I will explain later, and so in fact, we, we, it's maybe too much to, to expect that this guy is indeed an omega spectrum. All right, so um, I don't know. I, it's maybe a good time to take a break now, and uh, I continue after. Uh, next thing I want to discuss is uh, some uh, analogy with. The so called uh, Bailinson Lichtenbaum uh, conjecture. Okay, so let, let me maybe uh, uh, first r r write again this, this guess that I just raised. So the guess is that, uh, so I, I have introduced uh, uh, some spectra, uh, I call them B. Uh, it's actually a cosine Bichat spectrum, so there's index N. Um, and I, so my guess was that there is uh, an, uh, an equivalence between this guy and the, the truncation of the, the nth church object on omega. So this is is uh, a level-wise uh, C 
theater local equivalence. This was a quite strong uh, equivalence between spectra. So this, is, this, is, uh, this was my guess. Um, we also, so I, I also said two things that, that uh, so two things worth mentioning is that uh, we know that uh, if I if I take a five minute uh, replacement for for the CFT topology uh, on both sides, then this is essentially true. So. So this we know that it's just the same thing as as that guy, um, and yeah, and, and we know that the composition is at least uh, a stable a one c etal local equivalence. Okay, so we, we know this uh, guess if you want. Uh, uh, locally uh, for the A1 CFT model structure. But somehow we, 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 we would like to have something much stronger, which is, which is, which is this. Uh, one other thing is that, uh, yeah, so, so, so we know that this is, uh, yeah, this, this is the same thing. So in fact, I, I can write this uh, guess in a slightly different way, as following. Uh, so, here's a different formulation. Uh, I'm just saying that if I, if I take this spectrum B, uh, at, at uh, degree, uh, uh, conceptual degree n, mm, then in fact it is equivalent to the truncation of the same guy, but made vibrant. Um, but this is actually st stably, not, not necessarily just level-wise. Okay, so this is, uh, again, this is the same guess, but written differently. And wh when, I, when I write it like this, we see uh, easily uh, a relation uh, with the Bayes and Lichtermann conjecture. In fact, uh, this guess somehow wa was indeed um, um, motivated by, by this uh, conjecture. So maybe, maybe you don't know what is the Lichtermann, the Bayes and Lichtermann conjecture. So <laughs> let me remind you what it is. In fact, now it's, it's a theorem uh, due to Wojewski and Rost. So, so recall uh, the Bayes so which is now the theorem I said of Wojewski and Rost. So it says the following. So it's it's a, a slightly different uh, setting, but um, so we, we are working here uh, um, with integral coefficients. So so let let me write one for the unit object. In the N K with integral coefficients. So this is Wojewski's uh, category of motives. Um, uh, so, uh, so this is uh, one, this is the object representing motivic homology. Okay. Uh, then there exists It's a level wise, in fact, A1 is equivalence of 
spectra between one and one uh, made at alpha fibrant and truncated. So this is uh, maybe not not uh, the initial formulation of brain and system, but it's, it's uh, equivalent. Okay, so uh, and then you see, of course, that it's somehow uh, kind of a similar statement. So, so the of course the analogy uh, maybe it's worth uh, doing a table of, anal of analogies. So this is uh, the the BL conjecture, and this is uh, the guess. So here we, we here we are working uh, on smooth varieties. Here we are working on smooth foliations. Uh, here there are also two topologies. There is the Nisnevich topology, and then there is the Etal topology. And somehow it's a uh, this statement is about the interplay between these two topologies. Uh, here, the what plays the role of the Nisnevich topology is this C Etal topology, and then this is the C foliated. Topology here, of course, the, we have the unit object, uh, which are, which is replaced by the spectrum B, maybe uh, let's say B zero at least. Oops. Um, yeah, and, and then uh, then it's clear that this is somehow an analogous statement uh, to that. And in fact, it's, it turns out that, uh, that there is also uh, another conjecture, classical conjecture, which somehow is related to this guess. And, uh, and also, actually, people do consider this conjecture as an uh, analogous as analogous to one. This is it's it's a conjecture which is due to Suslin um, concerning Lawson homology. Um, so I, I also want to discuss this. So this is actually. Uh, Kind of more direct, direct, directly related to this guess, and we will see that in fact, um, this guess is a generalization of the of Fuslin conjecture, but somehow it's uh, how to say. So, so this guess is wrong, but but as I said, it, part of it is true, and and this part or part of it is, is expected, and this part is is really just uh, the thing, the the, the Fuslin conjecture. So I, I want to explain this also. Oops. So maybe I take some relation. We have first uh, mm, explain what is Lawson cohomology. Uh, so uh, here's a, a definition. So uh, yeah, let's, let us start with uh, an effective motive. So maybe with rational coefficient. Um, and that, uh, let, let, let us fix uh, an integer, positive integer q. This would be the, the weight of uh, of the Lawson cohomology. Uh, so I, I define a complex. So it's called called by LDR uh, of m and q. And this is by definition, uh, it is a Dram uh, realization. So this is. Or the R, this is the realization of the following motive uh, the internal home of uh, M with Q uh, twisted by, by Q. Um, all right, so, uh, and so, so somehow, yeah, L L Lawson, Lawson's cohomology 
at least uh, the RAM version of it. So the, I think the original version is uh, done with Betty technology, but the RAM version. of n in weight q is the cohomology of this complex. So this is the Dawson cohomology. So maybe I, just a word, what, 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 why, uh, what is uh, the idea behind this? Uh, so let's let's assume that m is a, is an effective motive of some variety x then uh, this object this object here the internal home of m into qq uh, is uh, uh, is really somehow the, the motive of the uh, of the space of codimension uh, codimension q cycles in in x okay, so the idea is that this is so this is home maybe up to shift but let's say n x q n q q is uh, the motive of maybe the, the monoid or the group completion of the monoid. I don't know the group completion of the monoid of codimension. Q cycles in X, and therefore we are just somehow taking the cohomology, or sorry, or the homology of the space, and uh, this is somehow the uh, original um, uh, definition of Lawson. All right, so so there is this uh, classical invariant, and uh, Susan conjecture somehow uh, is about this these, these, these groups. So I can try to state it now. Maybe first a notation. So, um, so yeah, uh, sending a variety x to to this complex, L Duran, the effective motive of x, comma q, uh, defines with some care defines a complex. Uh, LQ, sorry, LDRAM Q on smooth varieties. And we can also make a spectrum of, of, of this, so find a spectrum uh, LDRAM to be the collection of this LDRAM Q, maybe shifted by Q. Okay, so one has to define. Uh, Bounding map, so this can be done. And so we have we have a T spectrum, LDR, and this, this T spectrum, of course, represents the uh, Lawson cohomology. Okay, so by construction, LDRAM represent Lawson cohomology, or the DRAM version of it. Okay, now I can state the Susling conjecture. I can it's it's a DRAM version of of it, just in conjecture, saying simply that there exists a level wise, or just again, it's a reformulation, that exists level wise um, A1 et al, or maybe A1 et al, local equivalence. In fact, it's even just an etal local equivalence, but okay. Between uh, between Lawson, uh, the Lawson spectrum, and uh, the truncation of the Durham complex. Susling conjecture. So this is a, a um, 
contrary to the to the um, Bayes and Lichtermann curvature, this is still open and, and probably will still open for some time. Um, in fact, it, it may be worth mentioning that Bailinson, Bailinson has showed that uh, this conjecture and the Susling conjecture, in fact, uh, implies uh, the standard conjecture in characteristic zero. So it's, it's, it's really. Um, a deep conjecture. So, <coughs> yeah. So the thing I want to do, to, to say now uh, is, uh, yeah, the following uh, theorem. So this is, uh, as I said, it's. I didn't really. I didn't really prove it. It's just I, I think it's true, and I, I think I know how to prove it, but I didn't write anything yet. So. It's, uh, it's the following. So, so, so the, the say that the, the, the restriction of this weird spectrum of, let's say, in, in, in cosimetric degree zero, so the restriction of this guy to smooth varieties is actually uh, nothing but the, 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 the Lawson spectrum. So it's, it's actually is level-wise a one. Equivalent to to uh, the Lawson, and as a consequence of this uh, theorem, we see that um, the, our guess is uh, is true if we assume is true uh, under under Susslin's conjecture, and after uh, restricting to some varieties. So, in some sense, this, this guess uh, is uh, could be considered as an as an extension of Suslin's conjecture uh, to foliation. Of course, a, a wrong extension, but nevertheless an extension. Okay, so I, maybe I, I try to uh, to to say a few words about about this, the proof of the theorem. Uh, See, I think I, I don't really have time to do this, but okay. Mm. Yeah, may, let, let, let me maybe very quickly. So j j just to, to maybe to, to, to motivate the, this this construction of the spectrum B, um, which is maybe a bit weird, but okay. S sketch. Oh. So, uh, so we, we fix a smooth variety, and we would like to understand uh, the uh, the global section of X uh, of this uh, of the spectrum B. Okay, so we, we would like to show that this guy uh, computes uh, Lawson cohomology. This is our goal. In weight, in weight Q. Okay, so we, we go back to the, to the construction of this spectrum. Uh, so um, remember, this guy is given as a homotopy collimate. of some pieces. Like this, and each one of this is uh, itself a direct image along some some map. So.
Okay, so um, right. So this guy here, and I can write as uh, no. I don't. I, I want to, to write this guy. Sorry. This, so I want to know. So therefore, I, I look at the power gamma of x, each of these pieces. So um, in weight q. Okay. So this is given by. Uh, just go to the definition. Uh, R gamma of uh, x uh, with R c et al pi prime of uh, t tensored with q um, tensor this, this, uh, this complex of pre-sheaf CRM. Now, okay, now the point is that this CRM is actually, uh, remember, it was pulled back from, from the small uh, foliated site to the, to the large one. And uh, so because of this and, and with some computation, and uh, one, one can see that this is given by, one can somehow commute. Um, so maybe let, let, let me write it and then I, s I s explain. So, so there's, there's a trivial commutation. So by adjunction, you can put somehow x here, uh, putting, um, uh, but then, yeah, because we are, we are tensoring uh, this, the state motive with something uh, pulled back from a small, small foliated side. It turns out that, 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 it, that the internal home from x to this guy somehow commute with this tensor product. And at the end, we get something like this. R pi uh, um, R R star. Okay, so just again, again, once, once. Uh, let me say it once. So because of the of the nature of this uh, of this complex, because it's somehow so simple, it's uh, one can commute uh, uh, the internal home of x with value in here, and and somehow taking outside the, the parentheses. So we get such, such a thing. And once we have done this, this also can be written like this. I, I could replace this CRM by omega because on the, on the small side of, uh, of, of my scheme, and, and because I'm just computing now uh, cohomology over this side, uh, these two guys somehow they coincide. So, so we get this. And then from this, it's, it's kind of easy to conclude. So one know that, that taking the co-limit over this object is just essentially computing the, the ramp cohomology or the drum homology of, the, of, this, of this object. Okay, so, so this is passing to the co-limit, homotopy co-limit Rn, uh, get the homology of, uh, of this object. And this is, uh, yeah, if you look at the definition of I gave to Thompson homology, you see immediately the link. All right. Okay, so let me, uh, um, how much time is it? Okay, so I still have some time. So I, w I want now to explain uh, um, why why this guess is wrong. Yeah, up to now, I, I didn't, I just, Told that it was wrong, but I did not give you any reason to believe that it's wrong. On the contrary, I somehow I explained to you that it may be linked to some uh, deep cl classical conjectures. Uh, but somehow the problem be becomes apparent when you somehow uh, uh, go, go beyond smooth varieties and, and, and start to look at uh, more complicated foliations. So that, 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 that you, you see that there are, uh, this is somehow a, a too optimistic guess to be true. Okay, so this is why I guess 
is wrong and how to fix it. Okay. So the, the guess is actually uh, wrong in two directions in some sense. So it is uh, already wrong in uh, if I take uh, the, the conceptual degree to be uh, zero. So and I, I start by explaining this. So it is already wrong uh, in cos implicial degree zero. And okay, so I, I will just somehow give you uh, a, 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 a heuristic argument. For, I, I don't really have more to offer, but I'm really convinced that it is uh, too optimistic. So, and let me ex tell you why. So uh, let me fix some notation. So, uh, um, so t take an integer d, maybe positive, and let so let, let k be um, um, be uh, so maybe let, let, let me write uh, delta for. Uh, a set of derivations, so it's a set of commuting derivation. For example, acting on in the usual way on on the field of fraction k t one up to t, t d. And le let us uh, fix uh, k, uh, an extension and differentially closed extended. Delta extension. So, so delta is also acting on this field, and it is differentially closed in, in some sense. Okay. So, so to, to this, I can. Uh, so, so the point is that the spectrum of k uh, is naturally a foliation, k foliation, uh, which behaves like which behaves like a point. For example, uh, say, uh, with respect to the CFT topology. Okay, so it's, it's like an algebraic closed field for the, for the, for the tal topology. Now let's look at, uh, let's see, the smooth curve. Over k. And let us look at, uh, yeah. I want to look at the R gamma of C, uh, which I think for, for the Psi et al topology, uh, of C with values in uh, B, uh, B0, but uh, in level one. Okay, so this, this guy actually uh, maps to uh, the ramp homology. Of C, uh, maybe shifted by one. But it doesn't really, doesn't really matter. Um, what is it? Yes. Okay, so maybe I, I, let, let me. I want to write it like this. So the Durham complex. Okay. So that, I mean, th this guy in level one it maps to the Durham complex in level uh, shifted by one, uh, and and this induces. Such a morphism. Uh, now, so one can uh, uh, somehow uh, use a similar argument as in, as in the, the, pr the sketch of the proof I gave to uh, to show the following fact. So maybe it's heuristic, but um, so how to say? It? So uh, so the the only 
uh, classes in H1 Doram C that one can reach can okay, reach is uh, uh, by this map are those that are that are pullbacks of H1 Doram C0, uh, where, where we have a map from C to C0. Um, and C0 is, a, is just a curve, a smooth curve over, um, over k, small k. Okay, so what I'm saying here is that even if we take, uh, if, so if we, if we take a big uh, differentially closed ex extension and take curve there, uh, this somehow convergence theory is built out of uh, drum cohomology classes, but of smooth curves over the base field. So, um, yeah. So, 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 so something like this could be somehow uh, I don't know uh, proved in some sense. And but, but then of course you see that is a problem because there are uh, indeed uh, classes in the, in the H1 uh, the RAM of C which are not of this form. Yeah? Um, so that maybe I, I should say what, what, what is the H1 Doram of C? So the way you, you can compute it is as follow. So you can the, the, the H1 Doram of C is naturally uh, a k, a big k vector space. So because so, so you look at the Doram. So you, you maybe I should say it. So uh, so what, what what do I mean by H1 Doram of the foliation C? So this is uh, one can show it's, it's given as follow. So you look at the, at the H1 Doram in the usual sense, but uh, of the curve over k. Okay, so this is a, a k vector space uh, w with a connection. Okay, so this is a k vector space plus a connection, and then you you restrict this connection to uh, to k uh, considered as a foliation. Uh, and then you compute the uh, you can you compute the cohomology, but but here because k is is differentially closed, um, uh, so maybe I should write this. So delta zero. Um, yeah. So be, because k is differentially closed, in fact, th th these two have um, so th the rank of of this guy is actually the rank of of that thing, okay. So I don't, I don't know if this is clear. I mean, it's very simple. I sh <laughs> I'm, just, I'm doing a bad job in explaining this. So, all right. So, so k, you have a, a module with integrable connection over the k, which is uh, differentially closed. And in uh, so, in this situation, we know that the, the the space of constant has the same dimension as as the rank of the module. Okay. So this is a. Mm, Okay, and so the, the, there are a lot of sections here, and and uh, the, not not all of them really are coming from, in some sense, from ge from geometry. From yeah. So this is, of course, it's it's a, it's, it's very uh, it's somehow telling that that this guess is really very uh, very wrong, uh, very far from from being true. But let me just give again one more uh, you know, positive uh, result, and about about this again about this guess in, in degree zero. So, however, I believe that. Um, However, I, I believe that the following is true. So this is conjecture. I, I was not able to really to prove it, but I think it's, it should not be very difficult. I think uh, is the following: that it, so if you don't take the curves over k, but but just look at our gamma uh, k with value in in b zero any level, 
I believe that this is uh, just as as expected, namely it's just the constant uh, in k uh, shifted by q, by q. I do I do believe that this is uh, that this is true, which is a good indication for. Uh, so I think this 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 is should imply that if you look at b0 and take a, a fiber replacement that this is uh, th th this is the spectrum omega because the spectrum omega has also this same property so it's uh, uh, on on field like this you, you only have h0 and so th so th this formula is true for for omega uh, and so the idea is that uh, if you work locally for this topology, it's enough to check that two objects have the same values at fields like that. So this is not, of course, precise, but I think this conjecture has this as an application. Um, and then, of course, if if we, if we could, so, so then the, the then uh, the hope would be that that this conjecture. Is also true for uh, all co-simplicial degrees, but uh, which would then imply what, what you want in some sense. But in f and f but actually, this is uh, also wrong. But unfortunately, this seems to be. Uh, um, so what, what, what seems to be true is slightly weaker version. So I'll try to, to explain this. Okay, so what I believe to be true is the following conjecture. So again, let's, let's take K as before. So uh, an extension of uh, Q T1 up to, T, up to Td, which is uh, differentially closed. Um, and then I expect that, uh, again, the R gamma of k value in Bn, weight q, uh, is what we expect. So what do we expect here, actually? We expect this to be this uh, h and k. So if you remember, there was this uh, sheaf uh, of, of O delta modules, h, k, which um, which appeared uh, in one of the proof in the previous lecture, in the pr previous hour. Which uh, so if 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 I, if I replace small k by big k here, uh, sorry, if I if I take small k, this is just uh, motivic Hopf algebra. So this is, and so this is what what what, what we would expect uh, stably. So uh, if we uh, yeah, mm, but so the conjecture is saying that this is true, uh, level wise, but but for some for q larger than the dimension. D is, is the somehow the differential dimension of the field K. So this is a conjecture which I think it's true and which I also I think is not so difficult to prove. And le le let me maybe explain why I believe that this is true, but only for large uh, for large Qs. So here's an explanation. So uh, yeah, I want to explain wh why why in degree zero I, I expect this um, conjecture to be independent of the weight, but that uh, in in higher conceptual degree I, I will need the weight to be uh, at least the dimension. So it's actually it's, it's actually very simple. Uh, the explanation is, is as follows. So uh, so again, one look at at the natural map uh, in any way, let's say. Um, uh, 
Okay. And, and this we know, so since k is, uh, uh, is differentially closed, this is simply h and k shifted by q. By the way, uh, I should have I should put a q here. All right, so we look at this maps, and so uh, one can show that uh, mm, this map uh, or the image of this map is expand by uh, pullbacks. along morphism of uh, differential fields with uh, dimension of L at most Q, or, or you can take it to be equal to Q. Okay, so, so this, is a a, this is a very explicit vector space, but somehow one can show that the image of this uh, is generated by uh, as follows. So you take you take you look at all morphism from uh, spec k to spec l, where l is also an extension, or, or also a, a, um, a differential field, but um, also maybe differentially closed. But but here, uh, it has a um, differential dimension less than q. So, the number of derivation uh, is at most q, uh, and then you you look at the constant here, and then you you pull back the constant there. Uh, no, so no, 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 not, not the constant, but, but rather the, the, these uh, these chiefs. Okay, so you, you look at the value of this chief H n at L, and you take its restriction to H uh, n k, and and look at the sub uh, vector space which is generated uh, like this. And there, there's no, no reason to expect that if you take Q uh, smaller than D, then you can somehow span the whole thing. But of course, if Q is larger than D, then then obviously you can take k here, and then you, 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 you can reach everything. So somehow this is uh, the idea. And you see that if, if the, if the consumption degree is 0, then this is just uh, k delta. And for k delta, it's clear, it's easy to, to span the whole thing with, 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 any, uh, uh, with any dimension. There is no, no, no difficulty in doing this. So this is somehow this, this is why, uh, somehow this, this should explain uh, why in conceptual degree uh, we have uh, a different, uh, slightly different conjecture. Uh, so unfortunately, this is this conjecture, which I think is not too difficult. Uh, that one would would not suffice to uh, to have to to uh, to, to get uh, a similar implication like this, right? So so I don't know. I mean, I don't. Yeah, this is not sufficient. Uh, because of this uh, assumption here, uh, this, this does not imply that B, uh, Bn uh, made vibrant level-wise is an omega spectra, or is, is this guy, level-wise. Okay, so th th this would be sufficient here, but um, but yeah. We would get a problem for Heidegger, and so. The, uh, but but then there is a natural, uh, mm, <laughs> a natural conjecture which is stronger than this, which would be which suffices, which I unfortunately I don't really see how one can prove it yet. But let me state it. So the slightly stronger version of this conjecture is uh, as follows. So so we take k as before, uh, and then so I expect that. The R gamma. Now I have to put a topology here. I, I don't need to put a topology if I had only k because k is, is differentially closed. But here I'm looking at k times uh, e11 wedge p. And uh, again, this value in b in q. Let's see. So this, this should be. Uh, again, h, uh, h n of k, maybe shifted by uh, q minus p, and this should be true for uh, all p positive, 
and for all q bigger than the dimension. Okay, so uh, yeah, the, the difference between that and this is that we we allow now uh, we, we we put this uh, the state motive here. Um, all right, and in fact we don't really need to have an isomorphism. It's kind of enough to show that you can get the map in this direction. So it's, it's probably very hard to compute the cohomology of such a thing with such a complicated object, but it's ma maybe much simpler to find uh, a good map from, from here to, to, to that. This, is, this seems maybe more approachable. But anyway, so if, if we assume this conjecture, uh, then this would imply that, uh, that this guy is a weak is uh, a weak omega spectrum. Um, yeah. OK, so I think maybe it's a I could stop here, I think. Uh, let's see if I have something else to say, but. Maybe ju just say what one one last thing. So here, uh, you, you might wonder what, what is the end. So if if you fix uh, x in smooth varieties, you might uh, and the level p, you might wonder what is the n zero uh, in the definition of a weak spectrum which we we need. So, but it's uh, any n zero which is larger than di the dimension of x minus p plus one will actually work. Uh, so it's, it's an easy exercise somehow to, yeah, to figure out uh, how, this, how such a conjecture would, would, would imply uh, this. All right. So uh, if you have questions, I think we still have some time. If you do. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, it's, uh, I, 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 yeah, I, I was I was hoping to, 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 to do something nicer today, but uh, yeah, it turns out to be also uh, quite technical even to speak about this, but yeah. Okay, so maybe I, I stop here.